if the wind isn't blowing, do you have two home runs? Today? Yeah, I've got, I've got two no-doubters today. Uh, that first one, I kind of looked at it for a second, and then I was like, oh, shoot, I might get out of the box right here. So, yeah, wind, wind's been crazy here. Uh, I don't really know what's going on, but uh, credit to our outfielders for doing a great job communicating uh, between each pitch because that's uh, that's been really good for us. You tied the game with that one, and then got y'all the win with the last one. Walk through your approach in both at bats. Yeah, uh, you know, I was I was pretty much just thinking hit the ball up the middle, um, and Dylan Dryling actually came up to me before that last at bat and just told me about his stuff. And I mean, the kid gave me probably one of the best scouting reports that I've gotten, and he's a freaking freshman. So uh, that guy's going to do special things. But uh, it was after after seeing that curveball out, I knew that they were going to try to challenge me with a heater in, uh, just to try to get me to roll over and uh, get the out of home. So got my hands to it, and went to work. Why do you feel like you're so effective in those high leverage situations? Yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's just something that as a little kid uh, you dream of those situations. Uh, I'm throwing a wiffle ball up to myself when I'm seven years old, and hitting it bottom of the ninth. Uh, so you live for those situations, and any time that I get in those, I think my heart rate it just kind of calms itself because you want to succeed so bad in those situations. You say about Hunter to get that RBI single there in the seventh. Yeah, that was big for us, especially extending that inning. Uh, we were doing a lot of work. And then, uh, yeah, just him running the bases. And credit to Christian Moore for having a great day as well. Um, without him, we probably don't win that game. So credit to him. How big were these last two games, not just for the confidence of the team, but particularly for the, the batting lineup? Yeah, no, I think, it's, I think it's been huge for the lineup. Um, you just seen that we can throw whoever we want out there, and they're going to succeed in whatever situation we put them in. And uh, credit to our bench guys, because they're always locked in to every pitch. Uh, and they're just trying to do the best uh, that they can whenever they get in the game, and then they're always supporting us uh, whenever they're not in the game. So last weekend, y'all faced early adversity and it didn't go your way afterwards. But this weekend, it was a, a different result. What do you think the difference has been from last weekend to this weekend? Yeah, I think it's just a different mentality. Um, we kind of got together as a team on Monday and just discussed some things. And I think after that, everybody had a game face on. And uh, I was actually telling somebody this earlier, uh, the look that Andrew Lindsay had on his face the entire day today was very scary. I, I would not have liked to have been a hitter today uh, against him. But yeah, I think it's just a different mentality for sure. What was the main message of that meeting? What was kind of the, the common talking point? I uh, don't know if I'm really supposed to say this. Sorry, Sean. but. Uh, we, we kind of just discussed like Ole Miss last year and where they were at at this time and what happened with them. Uh, so just just going from there and saying that we're never out of the fight. Andrew said that you bring immaculate energy behind the plate. Well, what's the key to bringing immaculate energy? Uh, you know, kind of just letting them know that I'm, a, I'm back there for them and I'm always going to fight for them. Uh, obviously, the home plate umpire uh, it may be a little rough at times today. Um, but yeah, he, he was good for us back there. And I think, you know, just letting Andrew know that I had his back no matter what, it was good. Um, what did you see from Andrew? I think you caught the tail end of, of his outing. What did you see from him? Yeah, no, his stuff was really effective. Um, just seeing it from the outfield, it was a little different, obviously. And that was the first time I'd caught him since, uh, well, he was actually the pitcher that was thrown when I broke my hand in the fall. So that was the first time I caught him since that. Uh, so it was a little nerve wracking, but his stuff was electric as always. Yeah, I mean, it's been good. Uh, just talking to Coach Elander and him telling me that I've done it enough times to just be good back there. Um, obviously, at times, my nerves get up a little bit. Um, but, yeah, nothing nothing I've never done before. So.